Hey guys, True Beauty Forever, aka Natasha Redford Poetry here. Um, thank you for checking out this video. I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my suitcase. I'm going to be traveling to Las Vegas. By the time this video goes up, I will already be in Vegas and I'm going to be doing some vlogs for you guys. But before I get started, I just wanted to say hello to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Some of the types of videos that I do are spoken word videos, beauty videos, fashion videos, advice videos, Christian videos, tags, and um, just other miscellaneous things. So if you ever have a request of any type of video that you'd like to see, just leave it in the comment section below. I am wearing a shirt just so you know. Um, it's kind of zoomed in really close on my face. But um, and the other thing I wanted to mention is that I don't have my tripod yet, so I'm really sorry, but you're not going to see my face very much in this video, but you will see um, everything that's in my suitcase and my carry-on bag. So if you are interested, keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by showing you my carry-on bag because that's going to be the simplest. Um, these bags are by Concourse. This is going to be my carry-on bag and this is my actual luggage. And in my carry-on bag, as of right now, I just have my purse. I have a 36 set of makeup brushes by BH Cosmetics. And I'll show you what those look like. It's a lot of brushes, so I should have no problems doing my makeup. Here, let me show you guys a little bit better. All right, so these are all of the brushes. Now, some of these are not from the 36 piece set. Some of these are like these pink ones here from the Sedona Lace set. They're really old one. This is from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, this is from a little set that I got at Icing. This is an actual paint brush, Sedona Lace brush. I'm also going to be taking my laptop and this is just the cord. I'm also gonna be putting this camera in there. I'm also putting my makeup palettes in my carry-on and the reason why I decided to do that was because I had an experience before um, when I was traveling and I put all of my makeup in my regular luggage and um, the airline, American Airlines, which is, ugh, I wouldn't recommend flying with them, but they uh, threw our luggage around and then they left it out in the rain so all of my makeup not only was it crumbled, but it was all pretty much just colorful water by the time I got to Belize and saw my makeup. And it was makeup that was worth over $50, so I was pretty pissed. So I'm going to keep mine in my carry-on bag so that I can make sure that it won't be crumbles of like colorful rainbow water by the time I get to Vegas because I'll be very pissed. So the palettes that I am taking are, of course, the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I am so freaking excited to see what looks like come up with in Vegas with this. Also, I have the NYX Waiting for Tonight palette, and mine's is pretty beat up, um, but it's gonna be good for neutral looks, and I like to use this bronzer here as a highlighter sometimes, so that'll be cool. You can't tell by looking at it, but this is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. It looks absolutely horrible, but these browns are some of my favorites to um, add to the crease for warming up the look. I'm probably gonna buy a new one of these because you can tell I definitely need a new one. This is from the CoverGirl Queen Collection and the top is off of this, but I use this for a blush to warm up my face and then my Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. This is the first one. I just like that because um, I want to be able to quickly put on some neutral looks in case I um, am in a hurry. And as you can see, Naked 2 is the most used color in this palette. Sometimes when you go to like high touristy places, they have things that can scan your credit card information, but this wallet prevents people from being able to scan your information. That's all I have in here and a pack of gum because I don't want my ears popping on the plane. I like Orbit. All right, so now we're gonna get on to the good stuff which is the big suitcase. Okay, so as you guys can see inside the luggage, I have plenty of space 
um, for more clothing and other articles and the reason why is because I am planning on doing some shopping and so I didn't want to fill everything up I can start off with my shoes um, these are from Aldo um, these are my favorite sandals in the world they're so pretty and they just have really pretty detailing to them and they were only well they were fifty dollars but um, they're very comfortable so they're not gonna be too much to walk around in and these I either got at Kmart or Meyer. Um, they were only fifteen dollars and I got them from Bongo or I got them from Kmart or Meyer, but they're by Bongo um, they're not too shabby when I first bought them they had a strap on the back but they recently broke off so I had to just cut them off both and then these babies here oh my gosh these are suede gray cut out Oxfords and they're super comfortable as you can see they have a cushion in them and these are by Kato and that's where I got them from I don't know if Kato is nationwide but we have a store here in my area I have this necklace that um, my friend got me while he was in China it's a Tibetan necklace and uh, this is the detailing up close super pretty so I have that to take I also have this necklace that I can't remember exactly where I bought it from but it's for either from like Forever 21 wet, wet seal or like Charlotte Ruse and then this last thing here is actually a collar and it's beautiful I'm gonna wear this like with a top and it will pretty much look like the collar on the top and that's for if I have to like dress up or something then in this bag here I'll show you everything that's in there but I have like my cosmetics and my bath products um, but in here I have my um, two bathing suits nothing fancy I have a cream colored and a black colored um, tank top to wear under my shirts because they're sheer I have some undergarments and I have some pajamas here I have these are by Betsy Johnson but they weren't too expensive actually so that's why I got them I can't remember where I got these from but they're summery they have flip-flops and stuff on them then this is just a pair of shorts and I will show you my clothes in better detail but I have more than enough tops because I just I don't plan out my outfits too much when I'm going places um, I just wear, pack what I think is cute and then figure it out when I get there but I have plenty of tops and shorts so I'll show you those okay so this is just a little top in case I want to work out this is just a pink gym shirt I got it for five dollars at Walmart it's by Dan skin it has a gray kind of stripe going down the back so that's a nice little top this is a gray t-shirt that I got at the 5k foam fest as you can see up top there and in the corner it says 5k foam fest I don't really like to wear t-shirts as an outfit but what I would do is wear this for pajamas because I like to change out my pajamas a lot I'm gonna be gone for six days so if I wear the same pair of pajamas for six days I, I don't think I can do that it'd be kind of gross so that's why I have that shirt. This pink shirt is by Venus. It's just a nice pink sheer shirt. Um, and it's got um, nice little detailing in the front. And uh, it is nice and loose. So it'll be cute and comfy if I decide to wear this while I'm down there. This next top is, um, I'm pretty sure it's like a swimsuit cover up, but I will wear it as a top. It's from Kato and it's just this beautiful kind of whitish cream cut out shirt. This is what it looks like in the front. This is what it looks like in the back. Um, just really pretty. I would have to wear something underneath it of course because it's cut out everywhere. But it's super pretty, feminine and flowy. So I think that it'll be nice and comfy for that hot Vegas weather. This shirt right here um, is actually a nice little peplum top. And I got this for $3 at JCPenney, okay? $3. Are you kidding me? $3. $3. $3. And I like it because it's nice and um, it's very easy to dress up. 
so this is what I'll be wearing if I need to dress up and I would wear this with that nice collar necklace that I showed you guys earlier so that will be a nice outfit this cute little number here is a nice pop of summer color and it's a nice pretty orange top it's it kind of um, almost like a peplum it's got a nice little um, detailing at the bottom and I love this statement here it's pretty much like a golden necklace and it's just super pretty on I really like this top a lot and it'll be nice comfortable and flowy as well this top here is by Bisu Bisu I got this at JCPenney it's nice and sheer the only thing I don't like about it is this detailing in the front I feel like if they had made it a little bit smaller that would have made it look a little bit better. All this ruffling in the front could have been like half the size. But the cool thing about this top is that in the back, it kind of, oh goodness, it's hard to show you guys, but it opens up completely in the back. So very nice and breezy and easy to wear. This last shirt is actually my favorite shirt that I'm gonna be taking. It is by Nicole by Nicole Miller. Got this at JCPenney, I believe, and this is the top. And I love it because it's super colorful, nice and summery. It's very um, lightweight, and I love the back because in the back, it has a nice longer tail in the back so that you can um, not worry about your bum bum hanging out. I really like this too, this kind of uh, almost, well, I thought it was triangular at first, but it's not really a triangular cutout, but it's a nice cute little detail in the back of the shirt, and it's a triangular cutout in the front of the shirt. For my shorts, I have a nice pair of blue jean shorts. They're not like booty shorts or anything because I'm not about that life. Um, they're a little bit longer, but they're still cute and they cover everything. Um, these were at Kohl's for like $20. I have this nice pair of cloth khaki shorts. They're nice and comfortable and I love them because it's just, oh, they're gonna be so nice and comfortable, guys. I'm, I'm all for looking cute, but I wanna be comfortable too. I got these at JCPenney. I packed these. These are a pair of my kind of dressy capris and this is what they look like they're just plain Jane I brought those in case I need to dress up um, nothing special this pair of khaki shorts that I'm about to show you is from Kato they're comfortable nothing super fancy I'll show you guys my new glasses that I'm actually gonna be taking they're Armani exchange and they have orange frames and this is what they look like in the front and this is what they look like on. I can't see you guys because I have my contacts in, but what do you guys think? Comment below. I'm also packing a pair of my Pure Vision 2 contact lenses because it seems like every time I travel somewhere, um, my freaking contacts end up messing up, which is why I'm bringing my glasses and my contacts. My last items that I'm going to show you guys are actually my kind of toiletry bag beauty stuff um, and I'm going to go through these as quickly as possible. So I'm taking some Bath & Body Works products. I figured what better to take than Malibu Heat since it's going to be hot as hell there. Also I really like the scent um, Pink Chiffon so I'm going to be taking these as well. I am bringing the Morocco Orchid. Um, body spray to kind of match with the Malibu heat and I'm taking velvet sugar to match with pink chiffon these are my lady products like for <laughs> down there I'll link these in the description but I don't want to talk too much about these on camera I'm bringing some sunscreen um, this is the equate which is the Walmart brand of sunscreen my Charlotte Russe perfume um, called Love Charlotte XOXO it smells really good these are my foundation concealer lipsticks and uh, I have three Maybelline lipsticks in here two covergirl concealers 
my Revlon um, foundation. I have an OCC lip tar, and what's not in the bag, it's on my lips, is this uh, Stila lip stain, liquid lipstick lip stain. I have this Bosha face wash for when I am taking off my makeup at night. I use the Suave 24 hour protection deodorant. I have some Avon moisture therapy intensive creamy lotion stuff, it's really good. I have my beauty blender because it's my favorite thing to use to, app to apply my um, foundation. This is a dupe. I got this at TJ Maxx for $5 in Ohio. I like to use these Flirt palettes by Kohl's um, for uh, highlighting and sometimes for eyeshadow. And this one is the one number two, Peach Glow. This one is number three, Golden Glow. And this is Josie Moran's Illuminizing Whipped Argan Oil Body Cream, Body Butter. And it's pretty much what I use it for is for when I want to have glowy looking skin. This is what it looks like and it looks pretty pink but on the skin um, I'll rub a little bit on my hand but ooh, that was a little bit too much. This is what it starts off looking like. Then you rub it in and it leaves this kind of, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's a shimmery sheen. This is what this hand looks like without it. This is what this hand looks like with it, and it leaves a very pretty um, shimmery glow on your skin, so I would like use this on my legs. This is my favorite mascara in the whole wide world, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And yeah guys, that is pretty much it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what videos you want to see down below, and stay tuned for some very helpful Las Vegas vlogs. Thanks so much for watching.